Today, I played three brilliant moves. I'm going to pull up all three positions, see how many you can spot. Here is the first position. Pause the video to take a look at it for yourself. If you've taken the time to do so, there is one and only one move for white, which maintains a winning advantage. All other moves give black a winning advantage. If you spotted it, it is rook to b8. It's brilliant. Why? Well, what are you going to do? Of course, you're going to take with the rook. Take that rook. And now the queen is pinned, can't move, so you're going to have to take the rook, which leaves a beautiful f6 check, a forced move, and it is just mate. If you spotted that, congratulations. Let's get on to that second brilliant move. Here is the second position. It is black to play. Can you spot the brilliant move? Pause the video to find out. If you've taken some time to do so, you know, what are you thinking, right? You, a pawn move over here is not going to be brilliant. Moving this bishop is not going to be brilliant. A queen sacrifice is pointless. Um, this rook can't really do anything. You, you want to make sure that that back rank is guarded. So what can you do with this rook? Well, why not just give a check on f1? Let's say the king goes here. Well, then it's just mate and one, right? So you have to take with the knight, give a check. The move is forced, and there's two ways to finish off this game, right? You can come here, and king has to move there, and that's just mate. Or what I played in the game, which was give this check, right? And the king has to go to h1 or g1. In the game, they went to g1, and then you can follow it up with a mate on the back rank. If you spotted that, congratulations. Let's get into the third position. Here is the third and final position. It is white to play. Pause the video to find the brilliant move. If you've taken some time to look at the position, you'll notice there's really only one piece that you can move with some effect, right? You're not gonna move any pawns. You're not gonna really move a rook. Um, a king or queen move, it's not gonna be considered brilliant. So what can you do with this knight? Well, why don't you just capture on g6? Can black capture the knight? Nope, because you'll have a forced mate in the corner and you lose on the spot. So black cannot capture the knight. During the game, my opponent played rook to f7. I retreated. Um, but if you spotted that brilliant move, congratulations. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video enough to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Tell me in the comments below how many brilliant moves you got or which one was your favorite. Other than that, have a great day.